We're here with uh, Chippenham Town manager Mike Cook after uh, your first Boxing Day derby against Bath. Mike, one all reserve, one all draw. Not a bad result, but I suppose you know, looking at it in in respect, might have gone the other way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, reasonably pleased to be honest, because I thought, you know, for the first half an hour, I thought we were the better team, uh, deserved to go one nil up, uh, playing quite well, quite nicely, had good control of the game, and then, um, you know, obviously K does uh, a silly tackle. I, I've got no arguments with him getting sent off for that. I think uh, these days, as soon as the foot's high, you know, you, you, you're going to be off. And then it just took us a little bit of adjustment after that, sort of five, ten minutes to take us up to half time. And then um, second half, they knocked it about well. They kept it quite well without really causing a lot of damage behind us. So that was pleasing. We do work on that in training as well. And then, you know, we've still had a good three or four chances where we could have won it. So, um, overall, reason to be pleased. Yeah, good stuff. I suppose the, the talking points there, I suppose, from the game, Mike, we could probably start with uh, the, the goal, obviously, which is a, another well-worked goal. I thought Eddie Jones down the right-hand side had a fantastic game today. Warning signs for Bath, obviously, just before that, where Ross Stern clipped the inside of the post slash crossbar with that ball in. Is that something you guys have been working on, just getting that ball down that right-hand side and causing problems? Yeah, I think we're playing with Eddie and Sterner, you're going to get a bit of quality. So we took a bit of a gamble with playing with two wingers uh, today. So I wanted the crowd to be entertained with two wingers. Um, obviously, Kay hasn't stayed on the pitch enough to show us what he's all about. But um, I thought Sterney played well. You know, he had a, uh, Obviously, that was a little bit of a fluky cross from shot, but you've still got to put those balls in there and then if they do it the, you know the, the woodwork then that's all part and parcel of it so I think you know overall the, the quality from that right side was really really good and we just need to maybe get Ryan Law to push up a little bit more because you know it, at Plymouth he's known as an attacking fullback so um, it's difficult today though because they did have a lot of the ball at times and then that uh, that sort of obviously makes him stay back a bit. Still, we're looking at positives from this one, and I say we caught up with you earlier on in the uh, in the pre-match interview, and sort of touched on the fact that we'd not picked up anything in this fixture since the early stages of 2017. It's a point on the board against the local rivals. It's a big one, and I suppose things that sort of transcend the football side of things. You did it in front of 500 of your own supporters today. Yeah, it's lovely to have them back, and um, you know the sort of uh, the, the little bit of momentum that they give you at times with you know a, a bit of crowd noise and just cheering people on and. It, it motivates you to you know run that extra yard and run a little bit quicker at times so that was really pleasing from our side of things it was nice at the end as well they gave us a big round of applause and they seen that you know we worked hard for that point today and um, to be a, a man down for so long I think it was round about 57 58 minutes I think it was that six he, minutes to send off, yeah <coughs> so it's, you know that that sort of 60 minutes of going a man down against a team like Bath that you know are going to try and play through you and around you because they've got some good players and um, so yeah it was pleasing very pleasing good stuff and I suppose such is the nature of the turnover with the Christmas period games and trying to keep it all local next fixture back on the road but not too far to go quite yeah. familiar opposition that we can hear over our right shoulder here it's Bath again it's the yeah. part two yeah, you ready? We, we, we Definitely because you know there'll be a couple of uh, little things that we'll do differently next week as well as a big pitch as well. We we were um, we obviously noticed it was a, it was a little bit like um, a quagmire last week when they played against uh, Swindon Supermarine. So that that's going to be difficult to play football on that sort of surface, especially with the weather that we've had over the last sort of few days as well. So we're expecting another tough game, and um, but we, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We'll 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 put a, you know a, a few surprises in there, I think and uh, we'll get them guessing good stuff well all there is really left for ourselves then Mike is to congratulate you first manager to pick up a point against his lot for a long time it would seem and uh, great to do it in front of the fans as well today for the first time so well done mate give us best have a good beer and we'll see you in the new year yeah.